Hello and welcome to another episode of Flamer's Corner! Woohoo! Alright guys, we're talking about tech tier today. As you can see behind us, we got all kinds of stuff up. We're gonna talk about it, we're gonna give you statistics, and we're gonna get everything done for you. So let's go ahead and dive right into it, guys. Um, so let's start off with the fact that everyone needs to know um, that you guys have to kill certain bosses on certain levels. Um, and I will include a link here uh, in the uh, description to show you guys what items you get based on what bosses um, but you can see the two major items right in front of us um, is the replicator and the transmitter these are tech tier replicator and transmitter the transmitter is basically an obelisk that you can use however you want to um, i've got a couple extra on me just to show you guys some stuff um, and then i've also got a replicator right here um, that's for making everything if you jump in here you can kind of see i've got elementium to run or element to run it you can make your guns in here it shows you how much it costs um, and it's a very simple thing i've got a lot of element on me because i have to uh, <laughs> do a lot of stuff here. Um, we also have all the armor on us. Let's go ahead and turn these babies off. You can see what they look like. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, take a look at one thing. Um, I wanted to show you guys, I made this little structure here. It's kind of uh, more for uh, showing you guys what everything's going to look like. So uh, the replicator itself is six walls high, um, six walls high, um, so that if you're going to make a base and you want your replicator, it's got to have six walls. Um, also, if you look at the foundations, uh, you actually are going to need uh, a 2 by 3 foundation. You can see it sticks off here a little bit. Um, however, you're going to need at least a 2 by 3 uh, to fit on there. Um, I just did it like this so I could fit the wall in there. And you guys can see it's actually going to be 2 by 4. Um, I forgot to mention there are 2 by... Ugh. <laughs> Let's put it this way. To place it down, it needs to be a 2 by 3. I apologize. However, if you are trying to... Uh, place it and have room for it, it's going to take up an area that is three by four. Three by four. It's going to be four long, three wide. Um, also, guys, so I wanted you guys to see a couple things. Um, the replicator cannot be placed directly onto the ground. It has to be on foundations. As you can see, I'm trying to place a lot of stuff down, not working. The transmitter, however, you can place wherever you want. So what that means is if I come underwater, let's just swim out here a little bit, I can throw a replicator in the middle of the water, Bam! And that means I can now transfer water dinos to another server, to another base, or whatever I want to do here. Um, so we are at that point now, guys, where we can transfer water dinos. Yay! It's exciting, isn't it? Um, I just wanted you guys to see that and see everything. So then, let's get into the important stuff. Um, we'll go over to Goo. I've got the little spot set up over there uh, to show you guys what the damage is on these things. Um, but let's go ahead um, and look at a couple more things on it. So if you can see on me... I've got all five pieces of gear on me, plus the rifle. All of them take element. Um, they have a durability bar, which is just the same as a standard durability bar on any other armor. However, they also have an energy function. Um, this energy function is basically the skills that are based on the item you're using. So for the helmet, it's the scanning and the oxygen techno uh, technology. For the tech chest piece, it's going to be the jetpack that you have on the back of it. For the leggings, it's the mad sprint that you have. Uh, the boots are for the landing. So you can jump off birds and stuff and not take any damage as long as you have enough energy on you. Um, and the last is the gauntlets and the super punch. These all take element to maintain, and we also have the rec saddle on us. So, before I run around showing you guys everything, I want to do one thing. I have some coloring on me, um, because I think one of the biggest questions people have is, can you paint the stuff? Guess what? Everything's paintable. You can put it anywhere you want. You can change the colors of all the stuff. Um, this goes for everything. So that means you could even change the lights colors um, from blue to yellow if I wanted to. So I just made that one yellow, and I can change all the stuff in all of my tech helmets and everything, and I can just change all the lights. Um, all the lights for each of the tech elements is going to be uh, the, the region 6. It's region 6. So you can see I'm just going straight to region 6, and I can paint all this stuff super fast, um, and then we can have it so we have, we're running around and we're all nice and bright and yellow instead of nice, bright, and blue. Um, unless you like blue, but you can also change the paint color of the individual armor, um, the metal pieces. As you see, I'll go through here real quick and just kind of show you guys uh, all the metal that you have here, and it just changes colors with it, um, or you can just change the lights if you want to, or you can make it all black, or, or however you want to do it. Um, you can do black lights. Um, it's it's all really cool, guys, um, and I, I, I highly recommend that you mess around with it a little bit and have some fun with it. Um, but there you guys go. I kind of did all those just so you guys could see them real quick. Um, but let's go ahead um, and show you guys what some of this stuff does. So we've got our gun here um, in our first inventory slot. As you can see, um, it shoots 
pretty well. It's got some good shots. You can just see it fires pretty steady rate, um, but you can see the numbers going down. So when it runs out of ammo, it's going to instantly switch over to your next element, and you can see it, and it stops for a second. Um, you've got your zoom function, um, and you can see your heat bar on it um, on those right and left sides. If it maxes out, it is then going to go ahead and kick off and freak out like that, and then you're going to have to reload, um, and that's all it takes. Um, it's a very cool element. Um, it's very, it does a ton of damage. You can snipe stuff from far away. Let's see if we can find a dino super fast just to wreck. Uh, I'm hoping to, oh, here we go. We're going to tear down right in the sky right here. Um, you can see that the bullets actually don't travel um, instantaneously. You actually kind of need to treat them almost like um, crossbow bolts um, is what I would say. You have to give them a little bit of uh, leeway on stuff. Um, so let's get a little bit closer um, and, and destroy something here real quick. Um, we've got a, what is this over here? We got a trike right in front of us, so let's just go ahead and wreck this trike real quick, guys. I'm um, gonna just show you how much damage this thing does, um, and it's just just taking damage. Um, that was a level 10 trike, and it just took a little bit. Um, it does a ton of damage. However, guys, I want to note this is an explosion gun, so if you shoot the ground right underneath you, guess what? You take damage. <laughs> so don't shoot the ground right all over you. Um, so yeah, we get to catch fox. So as you guys can see, I accidentally hit the A button to go jump um, because it's something I like to do a lot. Um, and what happens is when you tap the A button, you get a quick boost. Um, and that's your jetpack on the back. So we can talk about that jetpack real quick. And then you can see when I land, my boots take damage because I'm not taking fall damage. If you hold A, you get a nice gentle boost um, and you fly into the air. Um, but you can then double tap A to pick up an extra little boost on there. Um, if you ever get to the point um, where uh, you are uh, can't get your boosters off, um, you can also click the left stick in. Um, and it will also let you do that um, and cut it off. Um, also, when you're underwater, let's put this baby away. Um, you can swim, and you don't, and you've got an oxygen tank in your helmet. Um, but if you click your left stick in, it actually turns your jetpack on. If you click it off, it turns it off. Um, but that's only underwater. You can see you slow swim, and then you can swim fast. However, if you tap A, it puts you right out of the air. Then you just left click again to turn it off. Um, it's a very simple process, guys. Um, now let's show you guys the helmet. So as it's getting foggy, I'm actually kind of excited that it did this, um, so you guys can see the helmet. So if you double, if you just tap Y once. You just do your standard pickup, but if you double tap Y, boom, you've got yourself motion sensors. This is going to pick up anyone near you, dinos or buildings or anything of that nature, but especially people, it'll give you a nice highlight on them and let you know they are. Now, if you tap double Y again, boom, night vision. So you guys can see much better at night. You can see through the fog. Um, everything looks better. And then if we tap it one more time, double tap that thing, we get night vision plus we get the motion sensors and all that stuff, um, so it's fantastic. Um, it looks great. Um, so let's go ahead and turn that baby off. You tap it one more time, you clear it off. Um, the next thing you guys got to worry about, um, we're going to do the punch real quick. All you have to do is hold down that left trigger. Um, that's left trigger, and then you can just go up and punch anything you want. And it just does a nice little cool little burst like that. Um, and then if you look at your, uh, you want to run with your legs, um, you could run across water and stuff. So I'm going to back up here real quick for you guys, just so you guys can see what this thing does. And you hold in your right bumper that's right bumper and then bam you run through stuff rocks and stuff won't stop you you just smash right through them all that stuff no worries no issues no problems everything's very simply done you can run across water like crazy as you guys can see um, but you can see it's taking up all that leg energy um, which i do want to show you guys is i was trying to use up a lot of extra energy because if you need to let's say i want to make sure that i have it you can reload the element at any point so if it's only at 35 percent over here i can click a on that element I click A on it, and boom, it's 100% again. However, you're wasting element, it's going to auto-reload anyhow. Um, so I would say just if, as long as you have that element on you, don't worry about it. It'll just reload itself. No worries. So let's go ahead and throw this wreck saddle on. I know everyone wants to see this wreck saddle also. And then I'll show you guys all the damage that these things do um, in the little area that we've got set up here. So you can see how awesome this thing looks with that yellow light on it, how good it looks. Um, it looks really cool. Um, and if, once you put the saddle on, if you just leave it on, it's just a standard chomp um, with the right trigger and then the roll with the left trigger. However, um, the moment you go ahead and you click in that right stick, you can see it transforms. Let me do that again for you guys so you guys can actually see it here. Um, you can see the Rex standing here. He's looking at us. He's looking great. And you hit that right trigger and then it moves you around and puts out those guns. Um, that you can still move. You can still run and all that stuff. But now you get the laser beams and they do tons of damage. Um, we're shooting our replicator and stuff, um, but that's what they do, and it does a ton of damage. So let's go ahead, head over here, guys. I'll bring our Rex with us, um, and we'll go ahead and do some damage um, 
examples here. Um, that's why I've got a lot of extra platforms and stuff with me is because um, they do a lot of damage. And also, I meant to mention this, I'm sorry. Um, in the top right, when you go into that form, you can see in the top right, it tells your elementium percentage, aka your, uh, uh, your energy percentage. Um, so you can keep an eye on it. Um, and same thing, though, every shot takes four. Um, and then basically what's going to end up happening is it just automatically reloads. Um, no major worries. And when you jump off, it goes back to the way it was. It looks awesome. It's a great thing, guys. Um, and it looks awesome. Um, so let's go ahead quickly swim over to this other side real quick. So I'm just going to do that little jetpack underwater um, so you guys can see it and turn it off real quick. Um, I've got little structures set up here. Um, I've got these ramps. So when I run across, um, it's not a big deal. And we can just go ahead and show you guys what the damage is of everything. So let's start out the rifle, guys, um, and show you guys what the damage is on these rifles. Um, so let's go ahead and just take the stack structure right here. We're going to go ahead, put one round into it, um, and it pretty much kills it. Um, it does 1,260 damage. I will include um, these uh, information and these uh, tables in the description also so you guys can see how much damage they do um, just by looking at it if you need to. Um, so there's this. That's on the thatch. Um, let's head over to the wood. Um, we'll shoot the wood here real quick. Um, and that is going to do 536. That's 536. It's pretty good. Um, and then we'll run on for this stone. Um, and there you go. And we've got 294. That's 294. And that's just one round with the gun, so it's not bad. Um, however, this is the best part. I know you, it's not a ton, but look at that. It does damage to metal walls. It's going to do 29 damage to the metal walls. That is awesome. That means, you guys, we don't have to have rocket launches as much anymore. I would still highly suggest using rocket launches. One, they're cheaper. Two, they're easier to use. Um, but it does give you guys the option for it. Um, all right, guys. So um, now we're going to go ahead. Um, I'm going to tear down these walls really quick um, just to uh, make sure. I'm just going to shoot a couple of these just so we can blow them up real quick. It's not a big deal. Um, this one I'll just put a couple rounds in so you guys can see um, that they do some damage. Um, but the whole point is, is I want to make sure I've got everything set up um, to you guys need it. So I'm just going to start destroying some of these walls um, get them out of the way because um, I don't want to do extra damage to stuff that's already got damage onto it. Um, so let's go ahead and switch now um, to the, the punch. Um, we're going to do the punch to all this stuff and show you guys how much damage it does. So I'm going to go ahead and face the back side of this one. Actually, I'm going to face the front side. Um, and we'll just go ahead and load up our punch and whack it. And it's going to take out that entire thatch thing. It only hits that one structure, um, but it took out that whole thatch structure right there. Um, and then we'll do it on this wood structure now. Um, and we're going to go ahead and punch it with the glove. It doesn't kill it, guys, um, but it does do 3,618 damage. That's a ton of damage just to one wood structure. Now I'm going to run up, and we're going to do the stone. We're going to go ahead, hit this baby with that punch, and it doesn't take it out. It doesn't do a ton of damage. Uh, it only does 845 damage, as you guys can see right in front of you. Um, and let's go ahead and just do the metal, um, just so everyone can see. Um, unfortunately, guys, gloves don't work on metals, sat face. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to start doing the runs. Um, as you guys can see, there is no turning when you're doing this run. Um, so basically what it is is... Oops, I can click on my jetpack there. Um, basically what has to happen is you've got to be pretty much straight where you want to go. So we're going to run across here, guys. Unload real quick, and then like you guys can see, um, we're going to line up these and just start sprinting into them um, and hit them um, <laughs> and hope I don't miss because um, I've got a one-shot. And we've got that nasty glare, which I hate so much, uh, off that metal. I should have done these in something else, but I didn't want them to fall apart while we were showing everyone. So let's go ahead. Hope we hit this stat structure right in front of us and... Oh, we missed it. Oh, we got launched, guys. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Did we get crushed? Oh. And of course, I didn't put them on the back, so I can't run in this way. So uh, hopefully we can get that freaking thing off. Um, and it just drives me nuts. I hate the glare off the, the, the metal. I just don't see why... Why they can't fix that glare? I mean, that's just insane, isn't it, guys? Um, but basically, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys, I missed it. Um, but Thatch, uh, it kills it on the run. 100%, uh, one shot, done. Um, so this time, we're going to go for the wood. Um, hit this left one, um, and I um, hope I hit it. Um, oh, I didn't get enough room, running room on it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and back up. I'm going <laughs> to... I keep hitting the A button, man. It's so crazy. That's one thing about the tech series. You almost have to relearn how to play the game a little bit because uh, it's, it's you can't use certain buttons uh, anymore. So here we go. We're going to get that run. I got a nice lineup. Here we go. And boom. And we just smashed right through it, guys. Um, well, I guess I didn't. I guess I missed it again. Um, however, um, the run on the wood is actually a kill again. So that's right. It's a kill again. It'll take out. You can take out wood structure. Super easy. Um, I do love how you guys can just fly all over this. Um, 
I can't believe that <laughs> I'm having such an issue hitting this stuff uh, in practice runs. I did it on the first shot, and of course now I can't hit it. And I'm sure it's because of the glare, and I'm not lining it up properly, and that's partially my fault. Um, but here we go. So we're going to go ahead and hit that stone real quick. This time we got it. Boom. All right, so we smashed into that stone, that left one we hadn't touched yet, guys. Um, and that stone one on the run is going to do 5,000. 250 damage that's halfway so two good sprints so if you guys went back to back with people you could be into a wall in two shots with that sprint um as i said with the wood it's gonna be knocked out so we can just go ahead and get that started and hopefully and nah, i can't get it to run um unfortunately i'll try it again oh let's just give it one more shot i want you guys to see this um that even the wood because let's be honest i mean you hit dinos too and they just attack them it doesn't matter um no big deal so let's go ahead and hit this i want you guys to see how much damage it does on this thing I'm probably going to hit this guy, and it's going to launch me in the air. Yep, stupid turtle. Oh, there you go. I just hit it right there. There you guys go. Um, it's one shot. That's all it takes with the sprint on the wood. Um, and then let's go ahead and do this metal structure real quick. Um, and then that'll be it uh, for describing all this tech tier stuff, guys. Um, so let's go ahead and hit the metal. Um, and then, as I said, I will include all these statistics. I'll include attachments uh, for what bosses you need to kill for certain items. Uh, we'll hit this metal real quick. Um, and you can see we just smashed into that thing um, and did not do any damage. Sad face, right guys? Uh, metal does not do damage. Only the tech rifle is going to do damage for it. But go ahead, guys. Uh, subscribe or like to the channel. I hope this was informative enough for you. I think this turtle wants to die, so let's just go ahead and give him what he wants. <laughs> it's, this stuff's really fun, guys. If you haven't had an opportunity to play with it, go ahead and go into single player, spawn some stuff in, and give yourself a shot with it. It's way too much fun. Um, you guys can run all over the place. I mean, we'll go ahead and just run off at the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if you have any questions or anything, please let me know. Any videos you want to see. Um, we'll see you guys on the next episode of Lemur's Corner. Everyone have a great day. Bye!